Google. Then I just go to YouTube. Now, prior to this, I have had already created the description, the title. I have done my homework for the tags, etc. And I have all that on uh, my notes. And I'll show you where I have it. Um, but obviously, there is some homework that needs to be done. And there is um, some content that needs to be written in order to add it here. So then I just go to my channel. All right, and then I click on um, here where you see that uh, little camera with the plus sign, and I click on upload video. Now, once you get to this page, you definitely want to click on unlisted, uh, simply because you don't want to upload your file and publish it right away. You may be making changes as you go through it, so make sure that you change these to unlisted. And then just click on the red um, arrow to grab the file from, in this case, I have it on my desktop, under a folder called John's Video. Um, so I grab the file here. Now you'll notice that right now is uploading, and we need to wait until it gets to 100% all the way here. So in the meantime, what you want to do is just take advantage of that time to start um, editing the content that is going to go into this video. And I just go ahead and erase everything from here. And as I mentioned before, I have already written the content on my notepad. So let's grab my notepad here. And as you can see here, I have my notes and then uh, basically, I have on the same page my Instagram post as well as my YouTube post. So let's grab the YouTube one right now. First, I just grab the title that I wrote and I copy and I paste it into here. Now, as we go through this, I just wanted to show you, I just always um, type my titles on caps. It's just a, you know, a style that I like not necessarily something that you have to follow if you don't want to. And then I just grab um, the entire description that I wrote. And you will see, let me wait a little bit here to paste it um, so I can show you everything that I have on my description. Uh, so I already copy and pasted that as you can see. And I always start with a question. And then after that I follow with um, kind of like the opening. And then um, just simply because this is a podcast interview, I then like to leave some key points for my audience to see what is it that they're going to be learning from this video. So I say just tune in and learn about, and then I highlight or, or place all the points that they will be learning from this video. And then after that, immediately after, um, one key point here is you want to have a call to action for your audience. So I literally ask them here, after you watch this episode, let's chat in the comments below. That way I'm directing them to the comments so we can have a conversation and I can start having engagement within YouTube. Um, right below that, I like to add some free tools and um, in this case, this particular interview had parts one through four, so I'd like to refer to those prior videos. I also added um, free uh, giveaways, not giveaway, but cheat sheets that I have created, um, and I have listed those here with their URL, so that way once I hit publish, those URLs become active and people can click on those. And also for blog posts and, and more information and resources for my audience. Then right after that, I like to um, add my website, my email, and then my social media handles. So as you can see, everything is in here. Now, the next step is to add to my playlist. You may have different playlists, you may not. Um, so my recommendation is if you are active on your YouTube channel, that you actually start categorizing your videos into what they are. And that is what playlists are for. And here's where you, you select that. So as you can see, this is still processing. 
still uploading. So once that uploads, then I can move on, on to adding uh, my thumbnails. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and add the tags, which I have already also um, copied and paste or created here on my notes. So I grab the tabs from here, the tags, and I just go ahead and paste them. And as you can see, by pasting them here, just simply because I separated them by commas on my notes, then they automatically are separate tags um, in here. Now, I have done prior research. I highly, highly recommend that you do your research, your SEO research for your, your title as well as your description and your tags. Okay, we are at 71%. We're going to wait until that uploads all the way until 100% to go into the next step. Oh, actually, I have a message here that I have tags that are too long. So that may be it. Let's see. I have to wait to save. There we go. So that tag was too long. So I, as you can see, you, um, I get an error message. And automatically I remove that and that error message went away. So we're at 95% here of upload, almost there. Just FYI, here are the number of characters that are allowed for each of these sections within the description as well as the title. So for the title, you can put up to 70 characters max. If you put more than 70, um, automatically YouTube will probably penalize you or not allow you to have as many views as you wish. So try to stay within the 70. For the description is up to 5,000 characters. For the tags is uh, up to 500 characters. Um, so make sure that you stay within those and all um, those number of characters are included within the cheat sheet that comes with this video. So now it says processing done. What you do is just click on the done, done button. Perfect. And I just return back to editing. And you can see here now you have a link that is the link for your video. I like clicking in there. So that way I can see the video and the description and everything Brains. that added. So, now you can see, if you go to show more, you can see my title, as you can see, is unlisted. So if you need to make any changes, you can still make those changes without showing that to the world. Um, here you see all the description that I added. As you remember, I said I, I, I start with a question and then I go with the key points. So everything seems to be looking fine. So I just check just to make sure that everything copy and paste correctly. I also taste the links. Uh, so this is the link to one of the prior videos. There you go, it's working. Um, so I just hit back. You want to make sure that all your links are active and working uh, because you never want somebody to go in there and try to click on it and then find out that they cannot get to your website or they cannot send you an email. So make sure that you you test um, all those links. So here's link number three. It's working, perfect. So I know I'm connected to all of the three videos from the three prior interviews um, and so on. So you'll see that I have all these links. I'll test those. Okay, good. So now the next step here is um, to go back and add the thumbnail. So I go back to edit video. And here we are again, back on um, the editing site for YouTube. And I just click on add custom thumbnail. Now, YouTube automatically creates a thumbnail for you if you want to use one of those. I personally like to create mine. Um, so that way I can pick and choose exactly what photo and what text I want to add. And I create those in Canva. 
there is a separate tutorial on that within this training. So you can just go ahead and click on that video and you will see exactly the step-by-step -step process on how I create um, my thumbnails for YouTube. So in this case, I just click in here. And again, I, I'm going to go back to John's uh, folder and I have here podcast YouTube thumbnail. So here it is. As you can see, it's already uploaded and I am going to save. Perfect. So let's crawl up. That's wonderful. All right. The next step here is to actually add an end screen. And here on the right hand side, you can see you have the option to add cards or add in screens. Cards is when you um, have like a fact sheet, a cheat sheet, um, tips and tricks kind of document, and you want people to access that. I think you can also uh, connect from here from cards to other videos. Um, but right now I'm not going to use that functionality. I'm just going to add an end screen. And there template, meaning YouTube's template, um, opens up here automatically. So I just close that because I know the steps that I need to follow, but as you saw, there is kind of like a um, wizard that shows you the step-by-step -step process that you can follow. And basically, I just like using their template. You can see here, this is my kind of end screen that I created within my brand and with my um, font and colors and in the name of the podcast. Um, but I also like to add additional um, uh, links to other videos. So I'll go in here and then you can select where do you where you want that video to be placed and also where you want the uh, subscribe button to be placed. This round thing is this, the subscribe. So you have different layouts, if you will. So in my case, I like to pick this one. And then you'll see that then by clicking in here, double clicking, I can select the video that I want to add. So I always add the last video. Now another recommendation, so that way that last video can get more views directly from this one. But another recommendation is to take a look at all of your videos and see how was the traffic, how many visitors, how many followers, how many uh, likes and so on you got. And then decide there which one is the one that you want to continue directing traffic towards. So I just click there, save. And as you can see now, at the end of my video on this end screen, then that video is going to become available for other people to click on and I'm directing additional eyes to that video. And here, automatically YouTube selects my photo and that is for people when click, people can click in there and then they can subscribe. So make sure you hit save. Okay, so the next step now is you should actually like your own video. That will be the very first like. We highly recommend this. I got this from Sunny Ledernuzzi and she recommends that you click on that and like your own video. In the same that you um, actually take this share link in that you send it to family and friends and send it to them via email and ask them to come and visit your, your page and make comments, like, and so on. So the next step here, now that we know that everything looks fine, the thumbnail has been added, is to actually add a comment. So you're gonna be the first one to like it and the first one to add a comment. So in this case, I am going to ask, did you hear about John's, John's um, last advice? And then just um, make the comment. And then here on the right hand side, you have three dots. Click on that and make sure you ping that comment. What you're doing here by pinging the comment, basically you're just attaching that comment to the very top of all your comments. So whenever people come onto your page, 
they're going to be leaving comments for you and you're going to be responding. However, this one is never going to move from there. It's always going to stay at the very top because you just ping it to the very top. Um, so everything looks good. The video looks good. I added everything that I needed to add. So now what I need to do is publish the video. So I'm going to go back to edit video. And I am going to change from here where it says visibility. I am going to change from unlisted to public. I will hit done. Save. And now this video is going published. So I go back to my YouTube channel and now I should be able to see the video there. There we go, video 404. So if we go to all of my videos, I can see all the videos plus the last one that I just added. So as you can see, the, the thumbnail and everything looks fine. The way I wanted it is consistent with my brand. Um, so let's, let's click on the video to make sure that everything looks good. As you can see, I have my title. I was the first one to like it. I have my description. Everything looks good. I keep scrolling down. There is my comment and it's pinned to the top. So, and you can see over here all of my tags, the tags that I used for this video. So, that is pretty much it. Now you are ready to upload your own videos onto YouTube.